Hey there everyone, Odium the Boy here coming at you with my BL's hybrid deck. So I merged the power of purple hybrids with Beelzmon from EX2 and it's pretty good. Like it's, I wouldn't say it's tier 1 or superior to the normal purple version, but it's pretty fun build. Um, I'm still working out the twings because I still don't have all the cards. I'm still missing one Beelzemon from EX2 and two Blast Molds. So I only have one Blast Mold in here and I, it would be so much better if I had two more. But I made it work. Like the one of worked. So, so I run four of the Demi Maramon that um, from 1.5 that inherited one deletion. You can draw a card and pitch a card. And it's pretty good. So, because uh, I'm trying to suicide my things a lot, you'll see why in a sec. So being able to draw one, pitch one is pretty sweet. I wish I was using that baby when I offered the gameplay, but I end up using the one from BT8 when you trash card from deck, like you draw a card, which did come up, but I think this is better. Because I'm trying to die a lot. So, uh, for Impmon from the first set, um, on deletion, trash the top three cards of your deck, get the target for Beelzemon from BT1 to, you know, warp. It's pretty good. And you can trash more cards to, like, make these effects pop off. So, Impmon from EX2. Um, when this card is trashed from your deck, if it wasn't trashed by um, its own effect, so you can't, like, use the effect to recycle wasn't trash by this card's effect you may trash up to three cards from the top of your deck so you can't keep looping that if you like mill this again basically um on play reveal the top four cards of your deck add one digimon card with beelzemon's name and ao and mako among them to your hand so this card for good for catching your beelzemon makos ao and mako so i like it and the inheritable as well this digimon's beelzemon gets plus two thousand three thousand oh wow gets plus three thousand that's pretty good so when you if you warp it to this dude you'll get a pretty sweet inheritable like a buff pretty sweet this deck is pretty fun so just want to share it and give you all a basis on how the hybrid deck would kind of function i don't it's the fun it's fun so two impmon um this guy came up a lot i kept recycling him a lot i might i might i'll probably up it back to four because i thought he wouldn't come up as much he came up a lot like i only ran two but i was looping that from the trash like on play you may trash one card in your hand if you do return one did you want seven great lords demon lords or three musketeers from your trash to your hand so this guy basically just fetches your Beelzemons and from the trash, like if you need them. Like you need the blast mode, you need the um the regular one, like etc. etc. So he just fetches the the, the Beelzemon you want, basically. Then the hybrids are four Kaiser not Kaiser Leomon. And four of the Loimon. So those are the only champions. I'm not sure if that's the correct choice. I'm just going pure hybrid and seeing where it goes from there. So Loimon and then the Kaiser Leomon are just the standard hybrids. Kaiser Leomon's retaliation when Digivolving on top of Kyochi actually goes to come up. Like I was, you'll see the gameplay of me playing this deck against Imperial when I won both games just because I don't know why. I was just popping off. Like those chain effects are really, really good. Like once we get to it. Um, four of the Ririmon, like he helps you accelerate the game. Like he actually, that one cause actually helps go faster. Like getting into the Beelzemons. Like if you're trying to build up. Or they're just a good, like, um, thing to have. Like, if you trash tamers and then this gets popped somehow, you can at least grab a purple tamer from your trash to your... Yeah, a purple tamer from your trash from without paying a memory cost as long as it's a, it, was, it died with a hybrid in the traits. So, that's good. So, it's good to just stick it on board sometimes. So, like, if they blow it up, you at least you get a tamer out of it if you're milling that much and milling your tamers. So it's like you don't actually have to go all the way through the Elzamon, you can actually just keep this out and get it ready in case you need to pop it with Alice or something. And then four of the BT1 Beelzebub because I only have um, three of this one so I'm like maximizing on the other one. I need to get one more. So so this Beelzebub lets you warp into an Ipmon while you have ten or more cards in trash, your Ipmon. So it's pretty good just to warp into it. And then you can when did you evolve and delete when your opponent's level 4 Lord Digimon. It's really good. Like, the Yelzumon deck is really, really strong. It's just really vanilla against um, D Reaper. I don't know how Yelzumon can actually fight against D Reaper fairly. I think it can. It probably can manage. I just have to figure out what's, like, the proper, like, text against it. So I run three uh, Beelzemon from EX2 because I only have three. I get, I'm trying to get one more right now. Hopefully I get one more soon so I can improve the deck. I do want to improve it, and I know this is a solid four of, so it just sucks. I'm running three right now, even though it should be four. But he did come up a lot. He's a really strong um, card. 
when this card is trashed in your deck, you may play one imp one from your trash while paying the memory cost. So this is the card I was using to like recycle this, so I could just grab this. It's stupid. Like you can just grab this back because it's a seven grade demon lord. It's like wow, that's a really good combo. That's why it's like I don't know if I should up the count because it came up just enough that I just was able to get the Beelzebub I want essentially to hand. Get one blast mode right now. I bought two more from Comfy Nerd, so I should be getting. So this should all three of these should be um, blast mode. Like do not run Susanna one. I milled this guy every game, so that's why to the point where like if you mill blast mode. It's better. Because when this card is trashed from your deck, delete one of your opponent's level 4 or Digimon. So that's really good. Just so you can pop something with a level. When Digivolving, delete all your opponent's Digimon with the highest level. So that's really strong too. I love that. And then when, um, for your turn, for every 10, ten cards in your trash, it gains plus 1 security. So he's really good because you can combo off really well with Ao and Mako. Because if he's milled in trash, you can at least bring it back with uh, Ao Mako because when you tap in swing with Beelzebub you can digivolve it for a cost of 3 and it's so good but yeah this is a solid 3 of Susanamon is just a filler he never came up I kept milling him so I thought he would come up theoretically he didn't so that should be 3 blast molds then uh 4 Kyochi because he's really good tamer uh on play draw 1 pitch 1 so you can get the Kaiser Leoma and Cat Retaliation like more easier I run four Aeon Mako. I run four. No, three. I run three Aeon Mako. I feel like I should run four. But it's a memory setter. And then when you attack with a Digimon, you may suspend this Tamer to trash the top card of your deck. So that's an op it's optional. You don't actually have to. You attack with a Digimon, you may suspend this Tamer. No, you have to. Because it's a cost, basically. Then, if the di attacking Digimon is Beelzebub, you may Digivolve it into a Blast Mold in your trash for a Digivolution cost of three. So that's why I was talking about like milling it because I milled these three cards a lot and the two Sonomons were just dead mills well. It could have been blast molds and I could have been popping off more. But once I get my two more it'll be fine. Like yeah. And then uh three Aeon Mako which is really good because it's a memory setter. You don't have to run Matt anymore because it's more synergized with Beelzebub. And then I run uh three Alice. Alice is very good. She came up a lot. Like holy crap. She is you should be running this. She is so good. When one of your Digimon would Digivolve from level 5 to level 6, you may delete one of your Digimon to reduce the Digivolution cost by 3. So it came up a lot when I was Digivolving into uh, to this Beelzebub because it was free, basically. Like, if you do the lineup, like, Digivolve for 2, Digivolve for 1, like, if you have one 3 memory, then you can Digivolve into 3 and pop something, at least. Like, trash 2 and potentially do more stuff when you mill. Beelzebub's a really fun deck, though. I enjoy it a lot. So three Alice. So it's all the tamers. So I run four Kyochi, three Elmako, and three Alice. So it's ten tamers. I think that's good. I don't. I like. I want to maximize. Actually, I should just maximize like four 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 because that's what I was kind of doing with Troopmon. So I might do that. But I have to check out the recheck the ratios once I'm. Uh, I don't know. The build is pretty tight, to be honest. <laughs> Then I run uh, four purple memory boosts. I love this at card at four. It's really good. Like trash two and then draw one card is very strong in this deck, especially when you keep milling. And then the delay is gain two memory. So it lets you pop off better and you get to at least draw a card afterward. Then four of the Death Slinger. Death Slinger, um, when this card is trashed from your deck, gain a memory that came up a lot. And then uh, delete one of your opponent's little Digimon when you actually use it from hand or security. Um, so delete one of your opponent's level 4 or Digimon for every 10 cards in trash. Add one to the maximum level of the Digimon you can choose with this effect. So you have 10 or more cards in trash, you can delete a level 5 or lower instead. You have 20 more, uh, you can delete a level 6 or lower. So this card is really good. Like, I like the fact that you can mill it and get something off it. So that's, that's why it's a solid 4. I think Purple Memory Moose is also a solid 4, so it's like, this build is kind of tight. I wish I had more removal. It has kind of has removal, but like against D Reaper, I need something else. But yeah, this is the build. I'm very proud of it. It was very fun to play against Imperial Dramon. Um, I can't believe I actually won those games. It was nuts. Like he, I was actually just controlling the board so much against um, Imperial Dramon. I was just wipe board wiping his level four lowers like so easily before he could even like try, or even his level five or lower because then the maximum level gets added, so I can actually pop off the Pyro Dramon too. So like that was the main threat, and I kept popping that off easily. I was like, that Pyodramon's dead. 
Especially when he ran into like a Deathslinger security or something. I forgot how I killed it when it was about to kill me. But I think he hit a Deathslinger and I just like killed it. No, he hit a Blast Mole and just died because he had no jamming. That's what happened. But yeah. Thanks again for um, watching the deck profile. I hope you um, enjoyed it. And, you know, stick around for the gameplay video. So, alright. Peace out. Enjoy. Bales am on being awesome.
good while it lasted. <laughs> That's right.
Well, light, it's all over. It was good while it lasted. <laughs> That's right. I am Kira.